Hi, first graders. We're gonna talk right now about how to add tens to any number. So what we're gonna be looking at today is when you have two numbers that probably are a double digit number, we're gonna take that first number in the tens place and add those two numbers together to combine the tens. And I'm gonna show you two different ways to do this today. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you our workbook pages that we would have normally done in the classroom. So I'm gonna share my computer screen with you. Alrighty, so right now you should see um, what looks like our workbook page. And you should see a red fish. So we're gonna talk about this problem together. So this problem says Eli has 16 red fish and 30 yellow fish. How many fish in all? We know that this is gonna be an adding problem because of this word right here, these two words, in all. We know that those are combination words. Those words tell us that we are going to be putting things together, okay, in all. So what we're gonna look at here is adding these numbers together. So they've got 16 was the first number of fish, and that was the red fish, and 30, now we have the number of the yellow fish, okay? So 16 right here plus 30. So here's what they've done. They have taken the first digit from each of the numbers to show the tens place. This is the number of tens, and then the number 30 had this many tens. So looking at the number 16, here's our first digit, that's our tens place, and in the number 30, here's our number in the tens place, and it's a three. Okay, so you should notice a connection when you see a one and you look at this part of the equation right here. Okay, one in the tens place and right here, look, there's one ten. And then over here in the number 30, there's a three in the tens place and there are three tens, 10, 20, 30. So what they've done is they've added just the tens together. Okay, so that's what they did in the first step over here. They said add the tens. So they went ahead and they said 10, which is this one right here, and 30, this one right here. So they've just added the tens. They're not talking about the cubes or the ones, they're just adding 10 and 30, and those are the tens only, okay? So they've added 10 and 30. Let's count them all together, okay? Count with me, start by 10, here we go. 10, 20, 30, 40. So 10 plus 30 equals, right, 40. Sorry, it's kind of hard to write with this pen. Okay, so then after they have the tens added, now they're gonna go ahead and add the ones. So that's the next step. Then add the ones. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six. This should be pretty easy. This should be coming to your brain quickly. 40 plus six is 46. Okay, so they added tens first. After they had added those tens together, they added in those ones, which was six extras. Now they're taking it back to the original problem. 16 plus 30, that was the original number of fish. 16 red fish, 30 yellow fish. That equals 46. That's the number that we just solved for. We just did it a different way. Instead of solving it as 16 and 30, we changed it into 10 plus 30 plus 6. Okay, so in all, since we know it's an addition problem, there are 46 fish all together. Okay, let's go down to another one here. Let me go to page 623. Okay, this one right here. So here's an example that we can look at again. They have taken this addition problem, 29 plus 40. And what they've done is they've circled the tens to add together first. They're not gonna add in any of the ones until the last step. So in this problem, 29 plus 40, they are taking the two from the 29, and that's showing you right here, 10, 20. That's what is represented right here, this two. And then they're taking this number 40, and the number four is represented by four tens, okay? This should all sound pretty familiar to you because we were doing a lot of this before we left for our spring break, okay? So two tens over here for 29, and four tens right here in the 40. 
Now we're gonna add those together. Go ahead and add all of those together by yourself. To 20 plus 40, okay? Just like they did down here. 20 plus 40 equals 60. We can count them out. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. And that is all of the tens together. Now they are going to add in all of these extra ones. They're gonna take these ones and add them to 60. 60 plus nine is 69, okay? That should come to your brain quickly as well. So instead of doing 29 plus 40, we've kind of changed the problem to be 20 plus 40 plus nine. We are only adding the tens first. And remember, that means we are taking the first digit of the double digit problem and combining them together first, okay? Now I wanna show you another way that they're teaching you in iReady to do this. You might have been seeing this in your lessons that you've been doing on your iPad. I assigned you two iReady lessons this week on adding tens, so you should be recognizing some of this from your iReady lessons that you're working on, okay? Here's our next problem, and what they're gonna do to solve this is use a number bond. We are going to take a number apart into tens and ones. When the number has been taken apart into tens and ones, we're easily gonna be able to see how the tens can be grouped together, okay? So here's your problem. 50 blue balloons and 13 red balloons. How many balloons all together? Again, we know this is an addition problem because there is a word in here that tells me we are adding. That word, if I'm being a detective, a word detective is all together. That word tells me we are taking two numbers and combining them together, okay? So this is definitely going to be a problem where we are combining and adding. So let's take a look at the problem down below. So it says find 50 plus 13. So here's what they've done. They wrote the number 50 all by itself and then they decided to take apart the number 13 and they are using a number bond to take that number apart. They are breaking it apart into tens and ones. So if we're looking at the digits in this number, we should see that there is one 10 and three ones. And that's what they've written below. One 10, so just 10 and three. Now, the reason why they have circled 50 and 10 right here is because we are learning about how to add tens. So if 50, plus 10, we can quickly add those together to see what um, we're going to have in the tens place. And 50 plus 10, you're gonna add 10 more. If you were on a hundreds chart, you would jump one space below the 50 and that would be 60, okay? 50 plus 10 is 60. Now that we have the number of tens, we can go back and we can add in the number of ones. 60 plus three is 63, okay? So they've done it a little differently. Instead of just looking at it as 50 plus 13, we've broken it down to 50 plus 10 plus three. So we're doing it almost in three steps as we look at tens first and then the ones. But the answer should still be the same, 63, okay? I wanna show you one more page from our workbook. And then I'm gonna show you some of my tens and ones that I have here at home with me. So let's go down one more page. All righty, I wanna look at this one right here in the middle, 20 plus 44. Now, we have learned about stacking numbers on top of each other like a bunk bed. So one way that you might find it is easier for you to add numbers together is by stacking them on top of each other like they were in a bunk bed. Remember that if you do this, you have to put the tens with the tens, like I did the two and the four, and your ones have to be perfectly stacked on top of each other. You have to make sure everything is lined up nicely, okay? I'm gonna come back to this, but let's try the way that they were breaking down the tens and ones using the number bond. Let's take a look over here at this problem. 20 plus 44. What they want us to do is take apart 44 and break it up into tens, and then break it up into ones. So here is the tens place. Take a second and think to yourself, if this is a four in the tens, how many is four tens actually going to represent? So you'd have 10, 20, 
30, 40. Okay, four tens is 10, 20, 30, 40. So I'm gonna write the number 40 right here in this side of the number bond. Now, if we've taken out 40, all that we have left is what's over here in the ones place. And that's just an easy copy it down below, four. Okay, so now that we have combined, or I'm sorry, now that we've taken apart our 44, we can easily see how these tens can be grouped together. So what we're looking for right now is this part of the equation, 20 plus 40. So we're going to be adding 20 plus 40. You can do this by putting 20 in your head and counting on 40, or you can just combine your two and your four and make it easier like that. I'm gonna start with 40 in my head and I'm gonna go up two tens. So it would sound something like this, 40, and then I'm gonna count on by tens, 50, 60. Okay, so 20 and 40 equals 60. Sorry, my writing is so messy. Now that we've figured out that we are going to have a six in the tens place, now we can go back and add in our ones. If all that we have is four ones left over, 60 plus four is 64. Okay, and now the answer is still the same. 20 plus 44 is 64. Okay, so we're gonna take a look now at my, my uh, tens and ones that I have here at home. So I'm gonna close this. Okay, so now I'm gonna push this back. I wanna show you what I, what that would look like using tens and ones because that could be a little bit tricky just seeing it on your workbook page, okay? So let's start with the, um, let's start with just adding tens together. So let me come up with a couple of numbers here. Let's say we're gonna do 20 plus 33, okay? Pull all these guys off of here. Okay, so 20, we know we're gonna have 10, 20. That's pretty easy. That one didn't take very many tens. 33. So remember, this is the tens place and this is the ones place. So in the tens place, we have three tens. So I'm going to pull up three of my tens. 10, 20, 30. And then how many will I put up for the ones place? How many of my little cubes should I add up for the ones place? Three. Okay, one, two, three. So now that we have all of our tens up here in, and the ones, what I wanna add together first is the tens. That's what we are working on this week is just adding the tens to any number. So let's go ahead and combine these two numbers, two tens plus three tens. What would that equal? What is the total number of tens I have right here? Let me write that down. So we are adding right now 20, plus 30. Okay, take a second to think about that. And then what is 20 plus 30? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. 20 plus 30 equals 50. Now that we have all of our tens added, now we can go back and add in these little extra guys that are left behind. So we are now adding 50 plus three of the ones that were left behind, okay? And that is going to be 50 plus three is 53. All right, that equals 53. So that is how we added all those together using the tens and the ones. Okay, let's try that using a number bond. So taking it apart like they did in the workbook pages where we're using a number bond instead, okay? So what we're gonna do is break apart the second number. So let's just start with 20 again. And let's go ahead and add, let's do 52, okay? So 52 is the number that we're gonna break apart. So I am gonna turn this guy into a number bond. And I'm gonna take, my tens are gonna get into this circle and my ones are going to be filled into this circle. Okay, so we are just gonna leave the 20 alone for now, but we're gonna take apart this 52. We are gonna break it down into tens and ones. This is your tens place right here, okay? Five, and this is your ones place. This is a two in the ones place. So really, I can just take that two and I can copy him right down below because two is what's in the ones place. But what I have to think about is the five. 
I cannot just write five down here because this five is not just a five. It actually represents the number 50 since it's in the tens place. So this number down here actually needs to be 50. Okay, so now that I have 50 and two is how we've broken this apart. Now I can go back and I can combine my tens first. 20 plus 50. If I needed to do this with long, um, some tens, I could put up 20 and then I could put up 50. And I could add them together that way. Another way that you could do it is by starting with 50 in your head and then counting on two groups of 10 after that. Let's try it by putting 50 in our head. So I'm gonna to just touch these and we're gonna say 50 in our brain. So here we go. 50, 60, 70. We're counting on in groups of 10. That added up to be 70. Move these so I can write that down. So we did 20 plus 50 equals, that was 70, okay? And now we have this little two left behind. We are gonna add it together at the last step. 70 plus two is 72, okay? So that is one way that we are learning this week about how to add tens together. You can take the number that is the first number the first digit of the number and add it together and you'll find the tens. And then after you have the number of tens combined, then you can go back and add in the ones. We're gonna be learning a lot more about how to add tens and ones together soon. So make sure that you're doing your iReady lessons about this. And if you need help, you can have your parents send me an email so I can help you. And there will be a little quiz, it's only four questions on Thursday or Friday, I can't remember which day. One of the days you're gonna see a quiz pop up on your iPad for iReady Math. Go ahead and take the quiz, and that will let me know how you're doing with adding tens to any number, okay? Good job, you guys. See you soon.